So, you all set for your first challenge? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pretty simple. Do we have a choice? No. I want you to line up in order right there as you enter the house. Now, Bob, as you came into the house first, go ahead and take the first spot. But he didn't, like, come in with us. Bob was already here. You have a point. Bob, you're last in line. Everyone else, oh. line up as you came in. Sorry. Well, likely Not, you've I noticed know. the orange cones that have been spread out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are to go about the house and choose your room. The way you'll do this is very simple. You will go to any orange cone and select the room attached to it. Now the thing is, if any doors are shut, you cannot open them unless you are selecting that room. So it's a bit of a gamble. These are all bedroom though, they're not like, you know, the trash room or something. They're all rooms with a roof over your head. Evie, what I need you to do next is go and select your room. Okay, so we can't I'll go. Evie seems nice. We, was, we were sharing a laugh when the, the Chris guy came in and he was talking about being old smarmy. Remember, if you open the door, the room is yours. Well, it's a one-shot thing, so I'll go with left to right. I'm kind of drawn to Evie, but at the same time, I think she could really get me, and so I have to be careful around her. Okay, we're set for the next. Oh, that's me. Now, three pop, things are a little bit different for you. Since someone's already chosen a room, what you can do is choose any of the rooms that have yet to be taken, or you can choose to take Evie's room. It was this weird kind of mind game about you could take someone else's bedroom that had just picked one. I kind of figured they were going to be pulling some Pulling some sneakiness. They have to make trouble. If you evict Evie from her room, she then will choose another room. Good news, you'll only be bumped once. Like a white elephant. There you go. Three Pac's pretty interesting. Uh, he doesn't talk too much. Three Pac? I don't know what his deal is, man. He's kind of been that, like, the James Dean. I think that's his kind of his role. I was going like this room. Uh, but that's, that's kind of a little bit too Martha Stewart looking. I don't know if I could really compete with these guys if I was Wendell. So, um, so from now it's just three pac. You know what I'm saying? Just from the from the south, from the south side. And we have another selection. That's cool. Next on the list. There's a couple of kind of weirdos, I have to say. Two of the rooms have already been selected. Sam, she's tough. She's got she's got that toughness where she might stick things out. She has an accent. Um, I think from like. Wales or France, what, like somewhere, I'm not sure exactly. I'm already, hey. I'm gonna have this one. I'm pretty confident about being able to hold my own. I was stationed in uh, India for a while. Oh, okay. Oh, were you in the military? No, what? What were you, you said you were stationed. Oh, worked at a gas station there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. oh, they're waiting for you. Do you a writer, Joe? Uh, no, no. I just no, he's an opportunist is what he is. I mean, no offense, Joe. I'm going to have some problems with Joe because he just doesn't care about anything. He doesn't care about, like, the integrity of things. To get, like, employees for a gas station, like, kind of make, like, a, a military motif and you get stationed. <laughs> no. You, know? you should call me, like, uh, an opportunist. And, and I, 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 I don't quite get why she did that. And then and then all of a sudden, it's a part of our language. Military is part of our language. I mean... Well, it, it already is. So, like, the idea is to, like, to use that to your advantage. You're like, you know, a gas pumper of one, or, you know, serve yourself, self-serving. You know, I, I, I didn't quite think it all out. If I open a door, like, that's the room I have, right? Absolutely. But if I bump you, then, then someone will bump me out of here. I won't be able to come into there, like, if someone bumps me. But then if I don't get a room that's worth bumping, I'll be stuck with this room. Joe is kind of annoying, but maybe he's just, like, nervous or something. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll try this one. Woohoo! And the next selection has been made. The middle, the middle brings in good chi, and the two outside mirrors reflect the cha. And oh, selection. I guess it's oh, your I turn. Think you're, uh, okay. Go, Salem, go. Go, go get some chi. Salem, who's just crazy. She uh, has uh, energy and probably Wiccan. There's that one hippie girl that just like doesn't shave anything and she's wearing that weird dress. I mean, it's a nice dress, I guess, but then she's wearing like tennis shoes with it. I didn't really understand that. Because I have to follow a higher power, I had to choose that room that, that three Pac had already chosen. I'll take this room. I'm sorry, like, 
I mean, it's just sometimes you just gotta. And we have our first eviction. Well, three o'clock, you know the rules. The room is hers, but you get to choose another. I was gonna be like this room. Whatever. Ah! Three pock? What the hell is that? That's crap. Three pock tried to, you know, mess with her by taking her room. I just, I already hate that guy. I'm taking her room. No! I got a really nice room and then somebody bumped me. And you know, you're trying to be polite and kind of like, well, you know, it's fine. But you're like, oh, shit, I wanted that room. Ball's in your court, Sam. What are you going to do? Uh, sorry, man. I'm taking the little one. There's still a master bedroom downstairs. We totally forgot about it. Got a small wee room and it's, um, it's nice. If I choose the master bedroom, I can't be bumped out of there it because I can't be bumped. Way. I'm taking the master bedroom then. Oh, sweet. Yeah, wow. Texas would be awesome. Well, I, I, I'm stuck in here because I've been bumped, so I can't be bumped again, right? Right. So I just bumped myself into the master bedroom, securing it for myself. Nice. Good job. You know? Next up. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. me, I guess. Erica, she's pretty nice. She, she likes stuff. I do believe there is one room left that could be bumped if you prefer. Well, I don't really want to like hurt anybody's feelings or anything, so I'll just go in here. Makeup girl. I'd like to stick my finger in as far as I could go, just to see how long it took me to hit skin. Oh, so it's like a game room. Uh, close. It's next to the game room. Your room is actually the cubby in here. It's a little small. I was a little disappointed that my room was so tiny, but... But then, I mean, I figured I could decorate it because that's what I do anyway. Oh, there's ribbons and things. I could, I could just decorate it. It'll look a lot bigger after I'm done decorating. Oh, it's kind of overwhelming, especially, you know, not really used to big groups. Thomas the wee blonde, he's so cute. He must be like 12, but he's lovely. I think he's gorgeous. Now, I'm to remind you, any room you take on the second floor, you would have to bump a fellow housemate. Oh. There are other options, though, if you're willing to explore for them. Well, what are the other options? Well, you'll need to explore for them. Okay. He's smart. He's kind of staying back, not really uh, getting involved with anything. I, I can see. I see where he's going. You take my room. Oh, wh which, which, which one of yours? I mean, I bumped somebody, so I feel kind of bad about it. Okay, Salem, so it's your turn then. There's a there's a cone on the shelf. I know, in the bookcase. Yeah, you're supposed to. That's you actually sleep on the shelf. There's actually one last one nobody has yet found. So I can look around? <laughs> oh, it's probably like a euphemism for something. There's one other cone outside in the kennel. The kennel? The kennel? Are there dogs here? Nope, never work. It'll work! I'm really glad I didn't have sleep in the kennel. That would really been bad because, I mean, where would I have blow dried my hair? It's gonna take me some meditation and some work to like center myself, but I don't care. I love being outside. I mean, that's perfect for me. How's it look? It's great! I love it. One last selection to be made. My turn? As it were, Bob, for going last, you actually have a little bit of a different set of rules to play by. Picking a room, odd. Odd way to uh, introduce rooms. You can bump anyone else one additional time. No! And oh. that person uh, no, that's will harsh. automatically get the couch. Oh, it's this kind of show. When they gave that guy the choice of any room he wanted, it was pretty. Pretty predictable, I, I thought. I haven't seen any of the rooms upstairs, but I really like that room over there. Oh, so. man. I ended up in the living room, which I'll be able to get through it when when other people aren't getting through it. Because because I'll be getting through it, and they won't. Did you, did you pick yeah, that up? man. Hey, you know, that couch yeah. is comfortable. I slept on that. I got the master bedroom, but I wonder if that was rigged or I'm not sure what's going on, really. Good. I'll be back later on with some more stuff for you and uh, some more fun. It's nice to meet you all. Have fun playing house rules. You can't eat animal at all. Right. All right, check it out. What about mushrooms? You You know, you, how dare you spill on my carpet? I told you not to do that, you stupid, you know, piece of When I was talking about the Hitler thing, I don't condone what Hitler did, but man, he sure made a name for himself.
Sword or a change? 